Welcome back to another wonderful episode of Historical Recreations. Today we'll be creating a Borgen and Burke's iconic piece that's in the movie, The Skulls Inside of the Glass Dome. And you can pick up one of these glass domes at any dollar store that carries them. And it just, the bottom just pops off as you can see. Now, I'm going to show you something else you need to, to get is some of these skulls and you got to measure to make sure that those skulls will fit inside of your glass piece. You can get these around Halloween or you can check on Amazon or any other craft store like Michael's Crafts or Hobby Lobby might sell these products year round. The colors of choice today is a burnt umber number 925, a black number 999, and a titanium white number 901 a large soft brush to paint your skeletons and a pair of scissors to cut off the top parts everything else is in the tutorial now i need to show you the next part of the demonstration over here we need to take off the skeleton's head the skull from the skeleton and it just pops right off and then also you're going to need a pair of scissors to cut off the top part that's the hanger once we get all three of our skulls prepped let's go into painting now once you get your skulls all taken off of their skeletons let's paint them down with a titanium white number 901 and bring them back to the look of bone And once you get your skulls painted white, they should look something like this. And we're going to start on the aging process of this shortly. But first, let's look at our glass dome. And let's look at our glass dome. Now that bottom just popped right off very nicely. Now be careful because this is real glass. We don't want that to shatter or break. If you can find one of these domes made out of plexiglass, you have a bonus on that. But I'm using a real glass piece right now. And what we're going to do is we're going to pop off this flower, which I believe is a poppy flower, uh, off the bottom and we're going to prep this base for our skulls and a nice big mess I made but at least I cleared out the the base I, what I noticed is there's three spikes that held the styrofoam piece which held in the flowers so now let's go on to our next level now that we have the base secure, I'm going to be painting the base down with the burnt umber number 925 over here completely to give it more of a wood look because right now it looks like a plastic look. So we want this to have a combined feeling that's going to fit in with our skulls. So let's do that now. So what I got here now is a bit of the burnt umber, a large brush, and we're going to be going into our water. And we're going to be creating a slurry. And this slurry is going to be very, very, very light because we want the first level of the aging process to be very, very light because we're going to be going over the teeth and parts of the nose and those areas. And we don't want to destroy the white particularly. So do the first layer and just let the white come through. You're going to see a lot of detail now forming on the skulls and then just once you coat them very nicely just put them aside and let them air dry and you get to do this to all of your skulls and once you complete the process we'll move on to the next level and once our skulls have air dried let's now go back into our burnt umber and apply a second layer a little bit more heavier in color we want to leave a little bit of the skull to remain so we actually can see that. Let's just choose one of these little guys to work with here. And we want to start applying our information. Now, very important is to avoid areas that are going to be darked out around the eye sockets. We'll be doing those a little bit later uh, with our blacks. And also, very important to avoid the teeth we're going to highlight those later with a slurry so paint up your next layer of information on here and I'll finish these and I'll show you what they look like when they're finished
and once you get your second layer on there they should look something like this now let these air dry again and we'll now work on the third layer I just want to show you how cool our base came out once we painted it brown now let's go back into our skulls today I'm going to be working on with my my water over here we're going to be darkening the eye area and we're also going to be putting on the next layer uh, reason for this is that I want to isolate these certain areas not so they're overly dark because I want them to show up when they're inside of the glass and we even put some color inside of each of the nostrils like this and then I'm going to water this down to a slurry very very tiny slurry and I'm going to run this across the teeth to highlight each and every one of the teeth and we'll put a wash on this afterwards but for now that's what we're going to do for all three of our our skulls darken in so need another layer over here darken in our recessed areas and okay, use the slurry again pull it up pull it over across the teeth this is all highlighting it's all part of creating a finish now once you have a skull that looks like this do it to all of the other ones do a bit of a close-up over here now you can see how the teeth and the recessed areas really stand out and once you've got that all painted up we're going to now mix our burnt umber into the black and create another layer taking our burnt umber and we're going to be mixing in the black that we have already used as you can see I put out quite a bit of burnt umber today and the reason is I just wanted it to thicken up a little bit because that's about a uh, how do you say a layer of information that we need to put on our skulls now what I'm doing right now is I'm creating a black brown that's going to replicate the flesh that would be on the skulls okay that's a good color right there now let's start adding this information this very 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 dark patchwork and then we're going to apply in small patches and be using some water here to now blend it in because I want this to be patchy we're going to do this to all three of our skulls Once I finish this, I'll show you what it will look like. Now you can see up close what these look like in detail. We had highlighted the teeth. We've created the dried uh, skin and flesh on there. We've created layers of information now and transformed them from these dollar store plastic uh, skulls that were used for Halloween into something that will look really cool inside of our glass display. Now our next level is going to be a black coating that will go over this. We'll be using a black wash and we'll be almost preparing to put them inside of our glass dome. And now since they are dried using our water and using the same paints we've been using here I'm just going to be using the black we're going to create a slurry now just move my brush out of the way that was used to pull the paint out but I'm creating a slurry a one-to-one -one slurry we want to now apply this final black coat over our project use a lot of water and let it drip down and age our skull completely do this to all three of them The final aging really matters. Get that into the grooves of all the areas. Let that stand out. And again, always letting our little skulls air dry. It's going to be quite a difference when they're seen through the glass. Now you can do several things to the glass. You could frost the glass using a clear glue. However, uh, this 
glass container that I have is very nice and I feel that it will appropriately show off our skulls in the best light. Another very important element, we want to now age our glass dome. We're going to be using a large watercolor brush going back into our slurry of black. And we were using a ratio of one to one. I would probably say this is now a one to three, maybe even one to four. And we're going to start painting our glass. I hope you can see this very well on film. And we're just going to let this drip dry down. What this is going to do is it's going to create a smoked finish on our project and it's going to look super cool because this is what's making the aging process possible. Prop making is just an art of doing things, creating things on a whole entire different level. I love doing this. So we're creating smoke on the glass or just years and years of contamination just makes things look more cooler and then on top of that I'm going to be going back into our black here maybe a ratio about maybe one to one and I'm also going to paint a nice finish over our burnt umber that we applied to our base age everything corrode, make things look older and older, and let all this dry. If you look very carefully at the bottom of the prop, uh, the picture that I had shown you, there has some kind of packing as like if the skulls were packed in something and then they put that packing inside the dome afterwards. What I have here is some paper towel, and it doesn't necessarily have to be a brown paper towel. Uh, but in this case, I'm just lucky that there is. I am going to be using, again, the slurry uh, that we've been using right along here. And I'm going to stain our paper towel up with this. And I'm going to create my own packing for the bottom of our glass container. And I also have some twine and string maybe I'll use in there too. But right now, this looks really cool. Once you get your paper towel stained up, let this dry completely, which will only should probably only take about say about half an hour because it will evaporate quite nicely, especially on a day like today. It's very hot. But getting your prop materials done up correctly is always important. So let's create the packing on the bottom of our glass dome. Once your paper towel is completely dry, you can just now abuse it and shred it up in different ways. Crinkle this up and we're going to shred it. And this is very important because we really want to make it look like it was packing from another world. I am using over here just a ruler to create this ripped effect. All a part of soft prop making. Once finished, your packing should look something like this. You can really, you really want to go crazy with it. You can go really crazy, but leave it kind of on the long side. Okay. A very wonderfully cool element I had found. Uh, this here is a form of a paper ribbon and you can use this on your packages and stuff. You can actually find this very easily at any dollar store. And I'm going to be cutting up some of these pieces to put into our display. These are just something that really add a whole new mystery of what is that in our now as I unraveled this paper ribbon, I'm going to now stain this up and add this to our shredded pieces. So let's do that now. Now we have our material over here. We have our packing material. We have our skulls done. We have our base. And we now have our glass, which has been aged and smoked. So now let's start assembling this. We want to be very careful to put the skulls 
incorrectly so that they are exposed yet I'm put one on this side like this and another one like that okay perfect I want to add the packing up inside make sure it gets in there putting it around the base Don't worry about the last skull. It's not important. It is it's there basically to hold the other skulls up. Um, let's take out a little bit more packing. There. Yeah, I like that. Let me put that down a little bit. Yeah. That is very creepy. And to put our base back on. So let's look at this now. And there, one of the most coolest and most unique and easiest props to make. Gothfully yours, Professor M.